Ouch, I'm bleeding. I think I accidentally scratched my arm. Five minutes later. Oh look, it stopped bleeding. All the blood has clotted. Amy, how did that happen? Well, my friend, when you scratched yourself, your blood vessels constricted, which activated clotting factors. These blood clotting proteins went through a coagulation cascade, which helped to clot your blood. Within this cascade is this really important protein called factor VIII, which plays a major role in blood clotting. Let's take a closer look at it. Factor VIII is produced in liver sinusoidal cells and endothelial cells outside of the liver throughout the body. It's a serum glycoprotein, which in its full unprocessed length consists of 2,332 amino acid residues and six protein domains, A1, A2, B, A3, C1, and C2. The factor VIII shown here is a truncated version because cleavage events remove a large portion of the B domain, generating factor VIII's inactive heterodimer form. This form is divided into a heavy chain consisting of the A1, A2 domains and a light chain consisting of the A3, C1, C2 domains. The three A domains are each approximately 330 residues, while the C domains are smaller, about 160 residues. Factor VIII contains the metal ions copper and calcium, which non-covalently bridge the A1 and A3 domains. One molecule of copper is present per molecule of factor VIII as it enhances the cofactor function of the protein. The copper ion binding site is composed of two histidine residues and a cysteine and an isoleucine residue, while the calcium ion binding site is tightly coordinated by glutamate, aspartate, serine, and lysine residues. Factor VIII also contains the sugar moieties beta-D-mannose and N-acetylglucosamine between domains A1 and A2 and between A3 and C1, which help in packing and stabilization of the protein. So, what happens to factor VIII as it goes through the clotting cascade? Initially, inactive factor VIII circulates throughout the bloodstream in a tight, stable, non-covalent complex bound to another molecule called von Willebrand factor. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Three regions of the factor VIII light chain are thought to be bound to von Willebrand factor with high affinity. When you get hurt, thrombin cleaves factor VIII, which causes loss of binding with von Willebrand factor. Thrombin cleaves at one specific site within the light chain and at two sites in the heavy chain. The A domains are bordered by acidic regions that contain clusters of aspartate and glutamate residues and several sulfated tyrosine residues. Thrombin has been proposed to also interact with these sulfated acidic regions in order to activate factor VIII. Active factor VIII is a heterotrimer consisting of A1, A2, and A3C1C2 domains. This active factor VIII interacts with factor 9A, which activates factor 10 by forming the factor 10 activating complex. There are three factor 9 interactive binding sites within factor VIII. This activated complex then binds to activated platelets at the injury site. The C2 domain binds to the phosphatidylserine head groups of activated platelet membrane surfaces. Next, Clotting factor VIII causes a strong platelet plug to form over which a stable fibrin clot forms and seals off the injury. No longer protected by von Willebrand factor, activated factor VIII is inactivated, most prominently by activated protein C and factor 9A, via enzymatic degradation and spontaneous subunit dissociation. The weak interaction between the A2 domain and the metal ion linked A1 to A3C1C2 dimer causes first order dissociation of its free A2 subunit. The instability of active factor VIII is due to the dissociation constant for this interaction, which is about 0.2 micromolars per liter. This value is about 100 to 1000 fold greater than the factor VIII concentration in plasma and so equilibrium favors the inactive dissociated state of factor VIII. Lastly, once its subunits dissociate, factor VIII's quickly cleared from the bloodstream by receptor-mediated catabolism. So, do you remember my chili sauce blood clotting friend? Well, her body naturally makes ample amounts of factor VIII. However, there are many people who have a mutation in the factor VIII gene, which results in the X-linked disorder hemophilia A. Due to this lack of factor VIII, 
When those with hemophilia A get injured, a weak platelet plug forms, which results in an incomplete or delayed fibrin clot, which in turn lets bleeding continue. There are so many struggles associated with hemophilia A, especially when it comes to treatment. Hemophilia A is treated by replacement therapy with injections of concentrated factor VIII at least three times per week, plus prophylactic administration during bleeding episodes. The factor VIII has a half-life of about 10 minutes due to its rapid degradation, and so the injections of concentrated factor VIII don't last for very long. This can get very expensive and tedious, especially when you have to do it for your entire life. There are about 20,000 people with hemophilia in the United States that have to undergo this daily struggle. Research is currently aiming to improve factor VIII stability to allow for longer intervals between therapeutic infusions, bringing us one step closer to possibly finding a cure for hemophilia A. Thank you.